I think what we are witnessing here today is a, an inversion of uh, gratitude. I think I'm, I'm supposed to be the one expressing my profound gratitude. And it is indeed with immense joy and pride that I stand before you here today to perform this very special uh, event. This is uh, an event that brings us closer to our dream of kissing our collapsed roads, our unpaved roads goodbye. The commitment we made in our manifesto to pave at least 10,000 kilometers of road over the next eight years was not a mere posturing. It was not because we uh, wanted to gain some political relevance. We made those commitments because we knew it was realizable. But in order for us to realize it, we needed to innovate. And that's essentially what we are witnessing here today. A special and a state-of-the-art asphalt production plant, which is designed, as you have heard the experts say, it is designed to produce 160 tons. So for context, 2.5 tons every minute. It's designed to produce 160 tons per hour. So what it effectively means is that if we decide to work 20 hours in a day, we can produce 3,200 tons every day. So this is not seen anywhere in the Southeast. And the interesting thing is that we are also committed to making sure that we produce the input. So it's not just production of asphalt where we have to buy the input. We are also in a few days from now, we are also going to be inaugurating a plant where we are going to be mining and crushing the stones that we need to feed these plants. So we are going to have everything in Enugu localized. We are also blessed with bitumen. So we are not going to go too far to procure our bitumen. It is our hope that we are going to start the exploration of our bitumen in the States. So in a few years' time, we are going to be able to also produce the bitumen that we use to feed these plants. So everything will be localized. We get the bitumen here, we get the stones, we get the sand. So everything is made in uh, Enugu. And so that indeed brings us closer to the dream of uh, paving a minimum of a thousand kilometer every year in Enugu State. This is not head anywhere. We're talking about a length of road that you know it's a challenge to even have that length done in eight years. But we're committing to doing that every year. So for context, what it means is that all our urban roads will be paved. We are not going to discriminate. So just a few, few weeks ago, we announced the award of 183, million, 183 billion naira for road construction. We have projected to do 141 urban roads and about 20 rural roads. So that is not a dream. That is something we are already beginning to implement. We have just completed the uh, pavement of 71 urban roads and 10 
the IO. So what we essentially did was double down and say we are going to continue to discharge this. For our rural roads, we understand the importance because one of the challenges we have in scaling up our agriculture production is the access to farmland. So with the commission in our inauguration of a plant like this, we are now able to assess our farmland because we are going to have the roads to our farmland paved. We are going to have the roads to our rural communities uh, paved. So what we are here to do today is not just witnessing the commissioning of machines. We are here today to witness what takes us a notch closer to the dream of making sure that our infrastructure in any of this state is world class. We understand that investment will come, investors will come, but only to the extent that we enable it as government. So ours is to have a government-enabled but private sector-driven economy. And that's why we're going the extra mile to enable that environment but most importantly to also help the private sector de-risk the investment flow to our state so that's what we're here to witness today i'm truly delighted to inaugurate and commission this asphalt production plant to the collective benefit of Ndienugu and to the glory of God. Amen.